Um, so listen, man. Once we, we, you know, we celebrating fifty years of hip hop. You know, um, there's a lot of people out there, and I'm, I'm just just saying this. You know, there, you know, and it's fifty years of hip hop. There's a lot of people financially who begin, who, who started hip hop ain't doing well, man. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, financially they they struggling. I I pray, you know, LL did something where you know he has to rock the bells. Mm-hmm. He 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 made he he's the founders are invest they they're they they are uh investors in it, meaning it, like well he sets it up to where they can they they are a part of it where they can get residuals for rock the bells. So when they throw concerts and stuff like that. They they all split it, you know. It's a lot of people that's involved in Rock the Bells, but the people, the founders of Rock the Bells, they get a portion of that money because he signed them on as as um I forget the the word, but uh, he signed them on as investors. I'm gonna say that uh, of Rock the Bells. So every year they do a, a festival or you know, like a big festival concert every year in Queens, and they get parts, they get money from that. So. L L L is doing what he's supposed to do, but subscribe for the very latest. Play, Daddy. Man, you know I want I want to talk about. Um, you know we talk we we have the segment called Hip Hop Cinema, and um, you know we 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 want to celebrate we want to celebrate um. You know, one of the one of the one of some of the dopest movies in hip hop today. We want we 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 want it we want to get into one of the dopest movies, Hustle and Flow. Just just listen to what I got here, man. All right, just listen to it. And if, if you ain't if you ain't feeling it, man, I'm, I'm out your life, okay? Now, Hustle and Flow. What 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 do y'all what do y'all thoughts about Hustle, the movie Hustle Flow? The Hustle and Flow was was, was came out in two thousand and five, the summer two thousand and five. Man, it's, it seems like ever ago. What's your thoughts about Hustle and Flow? Yeah. That album was dope. That album was dope. That album was dope. Yeah, that, that album was dope. Songs on there. <laughs> that album was dope, man. The movie um, was classic. That, yeah, hey, shout shout out shout out. Terrence Howard, he was stuck in that role, and I think he is stuck, still stuck in that role. Yeah. But you know what's interesting? Two days after we were done, I had lost the accent and lost the ability to rap. <laughs> I still think he's. I think he still think he's DJ, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I. I yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. Like he's. <laughs> people don't understand. I've been following Terrence Howard for a very long time before Hustle and Flow. You know, and yeah. he didn't talk like that. The way he talked yeah. now, he didn't talk like that. It was a very mild version of right. that. So, so when he got into that role, it just took where all he had, and it just exacerbated. And he was just like he could. I won't say take this. When he got to Stella, got a got a groove back. He could never get that off. He could just he stuck. But that's the accent. Thing. He couldn't throw the accent off. He couldn't throw the accent off no more. He got a little bit yeah. of fake accent. Oh, it, yeah. it was bad anyway. Antoine, you know, Antoine, come on, sir. You Jamaican, you know that ten, that that Tay Diggs accent. It was all the way. Got a good back was it was all the way bad. It was horrible. <laughs> Yo, it was all the way bad. See, see that's the difference, right? Because I listen. I don't listen. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm from the country, so it, it sounded great to me. I, I had nothing to compare it to. I had nothing to compare it to. I was like. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. I, I, hold, hold this. I lived, I lived in Jamaica, Queens for a, a minute. I know Jamaicans. That accent was horrible, bro. Terrible. I was like, what is this? Terrible. Like? <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, 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 it was hey, crazy. You, hey. You got to check. You got to check. But yeah, <laughs> I think one. Hey, but it was just one scene in the movie. I always... I go on YouTube and find from time to time when he wait when they were making that whoop that trick song and and my boy was trying to find That's that. The class he was trying, to find, that, he was trying oh. to find that beat. 
you know, and, and whoop that trick, the excitement and the energy uh, uh, that you feel in coming up and creating that on, on, uh, at the spur of a moment, uh, that, that's what it felt like. Not bad to be light-skinned, huh? He said, hey, find it. He said, like, dun, dun. Right there, loop that. And then hey, he started man, going out. Hey, listen, man. That That is the best. That's the best. As a person who has, you know, like me and Trim, you know, we, we, we were at that time, we were doing music at that time. And, um, yeah. You know, a person who who really sit like loves the process of making music, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. scene was yeah. classic, and um, that was priceless, man. But but I but the fans off, right? The special thing about that movie though is a few things. One, Ta Terrence Howard spent months in Memphis. Mm. That's why he can't get out the role. He, he's a Methodist actor, so he spent a long time in this role. He spent a long time in this role, um, and he 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 was around Memphis for for real, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So he 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 had he had the the, the culture. He knew the culture. He had the accent, and the other special thing about this movie is that. Before this point, there was, I, in my personal opinion, there was not really a movie that represented the South in hip hop like this one did. That's a fact. That was True. actually a trendsetter for not enough to not you say that. That's a trendsetter for everything mm. else to go through. And that's when Southern hip hop was really getting really, really big. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, 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 like that was, this that was, is, that was, yeah, that was mid crunk era. Like that was right. Of yeah. course, yes. And, mm -hmm. and and what you what you want to understand is that Memphis is one of the biggest cities for music. Oh yeah, in the Most world. Definitely. That's why Isaac Hayes was in this movie. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. And and. Because even though it's hip hop, you know, Isaac Hayes, first of all, Isaac Hayes is one of the godfathers of hip hop. Let's not get it twisted. Yeah. Hey. Ooh. True. I was sampling. Isaac and he out, yeah, he was out there ripping me out for your publishing, but he was taking the whole song, everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it's his music. We can do what he want to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Isaac hey, Hayes hey. ain't going to never sell his publishing like that. At least I don't think he did. Nah, but, it's fun, got it. Yeah, so but but that that uh, hustle and flow, hustle and flow, it, it once again, it, it's it's there's no there was no movie describing hip hop in the South, and we talking about everything from the from the actual street culture of it, where because you understand there's there's no hip hop, there's no investors, there's no at this there's no real corporate investors, street investors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mo, 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 most of the money that that got these rappers started come from drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? And 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 hey, and DJ's situation, the hoes did it. Mm -hmm. They invested. They was big investors. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and but but I know that whip that trick is that. That's that's y'all. That's that's the greatest scene. What other scenes y'all y'all like in that movie? Oh man, that sure. uh, that scene where he found Ludacris in the toilet. Hey, skinny man, you tell me this shit just fell out your pocket, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it was heartbroken. He was awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Threw my tape in the toilet, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, Taraji killed it. Oh yeah, Taraji. Yeah, that's oh, that's man. the part right there when she when he had her when he had her singing uh 
You know, it's hard to hear for a pimp. That was. Oh, man. Too. You know, it's hard out here for a pimp when he's trying to get this money for the rent. For the Cadillacs and gas money spent will cause a whole lot of bitches jumping shit. Yo, push it out. Think, yeah, yeah, push it out. I think we, um, it was really the kind of the epitome of the process because sometimes when you, when you're, you're aiming for something, you hit these lows and you don't know where, if you're going to go lower before you go higher. Because he, he was like, man, he, he finally, he's like, finally laid this track down. And, and Anthony Anderson character, I forgot his name. He's like, bro, oh, yeah. nobody, can, nobody can hear you with these mics. He's like, damn, I got to go get some more stuff. Dang, I just got the recording done. So he had to go get the girls. And, hey, you know what you got to do. You got to talk to the man up there. Do your thing. Get some more mics. So he, it was like, every time he was like, it was just another step in the process. Like, bro, I got to get more equipment. I just, I just spent my last just trying to get this other stuff set up. So, yeah, it, it, that was another point. I was like, yeah. That mean, and, and and you know, oh man, it just brings so many. For, for me, it brings a lot of lot of memories of you know creating. The just that, like I said, like you said, just yeah. that process. You know, mm-hmm. the eggshell, the eggshell soundproofing, um, <laughs> like that the egg carton, that brother, like the egg carton. <laughs> soundproofing. Probably go back to the basics. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it it was just, and and it, and it also. It also give it's a rep as a great representation of the pureness of this of southern music. All yeah, southern music. Most definitely. You know, um, all especially hip hop and the way in the way they 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 put their heart. It's their represent how they put their heart into the into the into the music. The everything, all of the all because at the end of the day, there are there's always people like when you talk about the South. People are always going to have this 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 thing about how they talk, you know, what what they wear, you know, how they weigh their hair and all of that. And they went all in. You know what I'm saying? DJ had the DJ had the perm. He had the, you know what I'm saying? He was just he he was he was he yeah, was, he was a great he was a great representation of a, of a of a guy in the south. Who was fought, who fell on hard times and wanted to do better? You can you see like the church for me the church scene is the best scene for oh, me. Oh yeah, because when he sat in that church, that was really powerful. When he sat in that church, you see a man, you see a man who's a is a very hardened man. Like he's he's a stone cold, and he don't want to cry, but he has so much pain in him. They they bought so much pain out of him when he heard them sing. He's like, "Yo, I, I'm gonna drop one tear at least because I'm hurt." You know what I'm saying? Like you can see, it. I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been in out of jail. I'm trying to make the best out of it. I don't want to pimp holes all my life. You know what I'm saying? Like he he want he want to do better for himself. And some people just don't know no other way to live life. So when you try to find a when you out here trying to find another way to live life, you know, like like Chuck was saying, I gotta oh I gotta do this now, man. I gotta wait for this. I gotta go get another mic. Like every everything is a dead end, mm-hmm. you know. And in that scene, he, Terrence Howard didn't even have to say. But he's a great actor, by the way. Phenomenal cool. actor, he is. But he didn't say he didn't have to say anything. It was all every. I could see everything, all the pain. I could see it on him. All I, all of that I just said was just for me looking at him in that church scene. That's the power you of know. a of a great actor, man. Where they can actually bring a, a role to life. So I mean, he I, I think he bodied that very well, and he he made us feel his struggle the struggles he was dealing with on that on that screen. He made us feel like we were right there with him going through that whole same travel. So, I mean, that's the that's what a great actor does, in my opinion. So he, he really did it. Man. Yeah. Craig, Craig Brewer wrote it and directed it. 
Uh, John Singleton and Stephanie Aline produced it. Mm. Um, so we got Terrence Howard, we got uh, Anthony Anderson, uh, Taraji, we got Paula J. J. White, you got um, oh, DJ was actually in the movie. I, I don't even know, I don't even know what DJ looks like, but he was in the movie. DJ um, the white kid. DJ, DJ the white kid. Oh, that yeah. that DJ Donald. His name was Donald. I only knew him from yeah. Donald, but they I guess his name is DJ. Okay. And yeah. Ludacris. Right? Yep. I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all something that's crazy. Hustle Flow only had a 2.8 million dollar budget. They made 23 million dollars. Mm. Wow. Oh, oh and MTV. MTV MTV was a production company on here as well. Nice. Um, they were. Wait a minute. So you telling me they they all took haircuts, right? To do this bill, <laughs> right? I mean, Taraji was, was 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 catching heat at that point. Terrence right. Howard, was Terrence Howard, right? Coming off of uh, was that yeah. before or after Iron Man? And uh, and then um, I'm missing the other person. So I mean, Anthony Anderson. Hey, Anthony Anderson. This was before Blackish for him. So he, Anthony yeah. Anderson, didn't really catch. He was starting to catch his stride. He was like, he, you mm-hmm. knew was knew of him, but he was like, you know, he was he was he was warming up. Yeah. Yeah, but I think after this, then they put him on Law and Order for a little bit, and then after nah, Law and Order, yeah, yeah. They came out with Black. this is nah, gotta say, this is chubby. This is chubby Anthony Anderson. Oh, I know. He was on. He was on. I mean, when he, he was, was on two could play, he was on Law and Order. He was on two play that game. Yeah, yeah he sure was. He, had, he sure was. He was. Yeah, he had a few. He had a few but, nice movies before that. You know what I'm saying? He had that. After, movie, after, uh, after like, Lee. a little bit later after. Yeah, a little bit later after he he was put on Law and Order, man. He was chubby on Law yeah. and Order too. He didn't lose weight until he, he got the black. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that that I mean, that that sh- once again that shows the buying power of black people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Twenty three million dollars is a lot of money at the box office. It, that that and that's probably not worldwide. That's probably just the United States. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know. I think it would have been our last five episodes. These, these budgets have been about the same. Facts. Two point five, five million. It's 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 the same. It's the same thing with these with the, with the movie we're talking about. We take we take these we take three ingredients. We done made a whole cake, uh, an entree, an appetizer. We done, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? we're like, hey, how you do that with all, with just them three ingredients? Hey, fam, you gotta make do. We got then make it work. Make it work. Right, and, and, I mean, and the thing about it is, you know, um, the, these these production companies. I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's not enough. They they should they should have gave it way more of a budget. But see, they don't really. I don't. Feel, I feel like they still don't really believe in black movies. I I, I just don't really think they do. Um, at one point, I don't remember, but at one point, there was only one black movie coming out a year mm-hmm. one mm. It'd be like one a, a holiday, a holiday or the or the wood or something like right. that yeah exactly yeah. one yeah, right facts and they wasn't really giving us they was giving us the same budgets back then because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we went it back we, we went all the way back to um to to set it off house party this is these early 90s mm-hmm well, same, how, uh, same budget. No, wait, set set it off was later, late night, mid, mid mid to late nineties, man. Somewhere in there, right? But either way, <laughs> either way, hustle and flow was two thousand five. Yeah, that was, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I I don't know what they're doing for black movies now, but yeah. that's that's a that's still a low budget. We talking about so, that's what we talking about fifteen years later after that. After we done made all these black classics, you still giving us the low the low ball on the budget, but you know, hey, we we all we always take we always take pig intestines and make them into chitlins. That's what we do, man. 
You know, mm-hmm. just saying. That's what black hey. people do. I'll we take any small reference, but uh, hey, we we take small yeah. amounts and make them big. We take, you know, what I'm saying, let me you know we, whatever you want to call it, whatever small we make it big and we make it cool. Just saying, but um, but yeah, like this this movie now. Um, let's see. We got we got best actor for Terrence Howard, and we got Three Six Mafia. Yeah, this movie Oscar come up. So, so wait a minute. So Terrence Howard won best. Terrence Howard won best actor that year. He, he and at the Academy Awards, he got the best actor mm-hmm. that year. Nomination or win? He won or not? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, he was nominated. He was nominated twice. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, one for best actor, and uh, yeah. No, he he got best actor, and then three six came home with the with the um, with the Oscar. So, mm. I want to talk about three six mafia. 